Hey folks, how you doing? Welcome back. It's Charlie. It is February 27th, 2022. It is a Sunday morning. It is about 10.30 in the morning-ish. Uh, it's a beautiful day. A little bit of a cloud in the sky. And this morning, we are at Universal Studios. And don't get all excited. Not Universal Studios per se. But uh, just just over here, uh, I'm, I've been wanting to come over here for a while now and actually check out City Walk. So let's go out and check out City Walk together. All right, just got off the tram here. Beautiful Universal tram. Wow, I've seen so many changes in the tram. I remember when they were white and rickety. Kind of reminded me of the old 1960s and early 70s uh, child strollers. <laughs> kind of precarious and dangerous, but there's a lot of folks coming uh, to the studio, to the park per se. It's a nice day. Today is slated to be uh, the warmest, I believe, uh, for the week. And then we're supposed to cool down a little bit. There's a junior, there's some junior wizards. Now this is about the time that I wish I, I had my universal pass. Now that uh, the mask thing and they just actually announced yesterday, I believe that uh, Universal has uh, lifted their mandates. Uh, all the other parks with the exception of uh, Six Flags is still imposing some of their mask rules. That's a great store right here. I've mentioned this in my previous videos. I wonder if I can find an old photo. But this area right here used to actually be a wave pool. You could see the outline and there used to be, well, going with the mosaic work over here, there used to be a miniature kind of a simulated a wave machine with actual water. It was really, really cool. Oh, yes. It's, um, wow. This is going to be a fun, fun summer for all the amusement parks, especially for Disney, Knott's Berry Farm, and Universal Studios. I would kind of, well, I would actually like to come back and uh, check out Waterworld. That is, uh, for me, Waterworld, honestly, I think is my favorite uh, attraction to see here. I don't know why, it's just, it's, it's one of the strongest shows that they've had, and it's actually still the best, and it has a good, good following. There is the globe. There is the, wow, oh yeah, it's uh, snaking around. That is the, the entrance, so well, actually the starting for bag check. All of bag check is right here and then going around. But it actually, it looks pretty quick. It's pretty, pretty cool. I love seeing all this, it, just look at this. Where it used to be an ocean of masks, now you can actually see people's faces. This is, this is just great. I love this. A lot of fans, uh, with Harry Potter in their Harry Potter garb. Yeah, I just, uh, even if I had a little bit of money, I, I. I couldn't see spending, God, I think, what is that, a hundred and, I want to say 160 to 180 ish for a season pass. And I think that is, I think that is the low end of the pass. Wow, look at all these people coming in. Sans a mask, no masks, no masks. Look at this, I love this. Of course, you know, we're still going to have a lot of folks 
with the masks, and that to me is the Pavlov's frothing dog whole psychology about it. We humans are a lot easier to condition than any domestic animal or any animal in the wild, honestly. I don't think people really realize that. So this is the layout here. City walk. That's not so bad. I'm actually very curious to see what kind of changes have occurred inside. And truth be told, honestly, since I am going to be stuck here in California until a miracle lands my way, I'm going to... I was actually thinking about uh, applying here. I would have liked to have actually applied at uh, Disney. Disney actually had a hiring job fair yesterday. That would have been fantastic. Uh, I know I've said, I know they're union, but if anything, I would rather be working union at amusement park than uh, the grocery store. I know it doesn't make sense, but yeah. Well, one thing that I did want to show is that if you have a lot of stuff, uh, there are lockers here. And this is the bathroom area. This is like the early part of uh, getting in to the uh, the city walk actually the park is down that away and this is city walk and going further to the left but there are these convenient lockers and uh, this is what the cost is eight dollars all day I would have to think that's probably maybe I'm not sure if it's for the larger ones it looks like the smaller ones let's see Oh, there we go. $15 for the larger ones for all day. But you don't have to do it here. They do have lockers uh, inside the park, especially on some of the attractions where they require for you to not be able to carry anything. And there's some charging stations. So this is actually just right where we get off on the tram over here, directly straight ahead. From the tram, you can come over here and use the facilities and the lockers. That's providing, again, if you're only just going to be here at City Walk. If you're going to do that, um, I would advise not to get the locker here because you're going to probably most likely end up using the locker inside the park. So you're going to be paying double, double the price. Yeah, I think this is going to be a fantastic summer for all the amusement parks, everybody, especially here locally. Uh, that used to be, I've mentioned this, that up there used to be a club, kind of a club bar scene type of thing. And uh, one second, I'm having trouble here. It used to be called Wizards. Uh, when my roommate Jesse and I used to work in Hollywood, uh, when we got off work, we'd sometimes come over here, tool around. We used to live in uh, North Hills. And we'd stop off here and have a few drinks. And yes, drive home. I know. Things were a little bit more, more different. <laughs> Antojitos. That opened up maybe, I want to say, just shortly after the lockdown. Because it was still in construction. And I've been wanting to go there, but, I, you know, I should have... This is where I say I, I should have taken my, my advice, pulled down my pants and slide on that ice. And I never did that, my friends. Uh, now I can't afford it, but it's a really, it looks like it's a really good, good place to eat. Do they have the menu? Oh, there's the barcode. Sparky's is a good place. A lot of good candies, fudge. 
There's Jamba Juice. Look at that. That is also one of the newest places. I think that opened up just shortly during the lockdown. Grill Bar. Of course, we got Bubba Gump. You know, now I can't even remember what this used to be. And whatever it was, it was the longest. Oh, Strauss? I think it was Strauss. You know what? I think it was Strauss. And of course, we got the fountains. Eh, not kids right now. It's probably not hot enough, but... The, we did have um, signs up there when they had the fountains and everything during the lockdown. Uh, kids were not allowed to play in it. I don't know, because the water was going to contaminate you. But uh, yeah, it's actually definitely a lot of fun to come here and, and bring your kids and just see families and the kids and parents walking through. Kids love to toil around with the water. King Kong. I do love city. I, you know, yeah, I miss this place so much. I'm not gonna lie to you. <laughs> now I'm, now I'm totally just yearning just to have my pass back. Oh well. Bubba Gump. Here's. menu for you. Get a better shot. There we go. Good food. This used to be the NASCAR racing circuit amusement type of thing that we used to have. That was a uh, my, my friend and I, we used to have a membership over here and we used to do the uh, the NASCAR, and uh, it was quite expensive. I, I think it was, I want to say, $20, $25, and that was in 90, shoot, 97, 98, I want to say. And that was still a lot of money, but it was, it was simulated NASCARs with a big front screen and everything. I wonder if I can find that, if it still exists. It's got to be, but uh, it was a lot of fun. And of course, it's sugar. It's only sugar. Wasabi. I'd like to try that place as well. God, there's so many places now. You know, when you don't have the money, then that's when you want, right? Just like a kid. Dong Po is another one that I would like to try. I want to try their dumplings. And their roast duck sliders this oh and you also can get tested to see if you're legit the stickers look good but this right here I love duck I love muskeve duck muskeve duck for me is oh my goodness dung pole I'll just put the uh, link down for Universal Studios and for City Walk. Very cool. This is the upstairs for the. Um, what if they changed? It looks like they might have changed some places. Let's go take a look. Okay, shut up. Oh my God. You know, one thing for the last couple of years I've, I've been seeing is we didn't have anything around that was close by. Firehouse subs. We now have... Uh, it's, I know it's just another sandwich place, but their, their subs just look really good. Fire, firehouse subs, that's so cool. It's remodeled. 
And we got Panda Express. They were hiring like crazy actually when I was in the process of trying to look for a job during the lockdown. Uh, they were hiring. They, they pay actually, I want to, they were paying the most here out of all places. They were paying the most because they were the busiest. And we have the Habit. Poke Bar. That one is new. And we got Taco Bell. And we have a Pink's Satellite over here. I remember this. So I have a Pink's Satellite. So, and for you folks. Yeah, I'm gonna get dinged for copyrights on this. That's okay. And we have a combo of Pizza Hut and KFC. This has still been here for a while and it looks like maybe something else is coming over here. On the far, far, far end, maybe? Oh no, it's, it's part of KFC. They've been working on this one for quite a while, actually. The Chocolate Emporium. This used to be the Hard Rock right here. And we used to have the, for those of you that are from here and locally, or no longer live here, remember the big standing guitar here? This was another place that uh, my, my roommate and I used to come to. Actually, we knew a couple of the people that worked here, the bartender, and a couple of the uh, waitresses that actually did part of the choreography for uh, Austin Powers in the opening scenes. One did one movie and the other one did the second movie. All right, let's go back down. And they do have an IMAX theater in here as well. 